and I hate to bring it up because, like I said, we we are whatever. But because I had lost focus because I started, I couldn't focus because I was so worried about my kids. Because my baby mother started doing what, what the right. fuck they started doing. I ain't stray off, bro. I just got drugged. You know what I'm saying? A bitch right. drug, a right. bitch, a that's bitch that. drug. That's a bitch just drug me. That's what it was. And then on top of me being drugged, my baby mama's wilding. And it caused a lot of chaos. You feel what I'm saying? It, it even caused the chaos to the point where mm -hmm. uh, I ain't gonna say no names, but somebody that I was really feeling, you feel me? Now they feel some type of way because they feel like they public image, you know. It just caused a lot of chaos. And at the end of the day, you know, no disrespect, but I blame the shit out of black women right now. Everything that I went through for this last year, mm -hmm. I blame, I blame all I blame black women in America for all this shit. <laughs> I blame the shit out of them. The shit out of y'all. No disrespect. And I love y'all. I ain't never stopped loving y'all. You, know, you know what you I'm know. saying? But I blame y'all motherfuckers. Like, y'all toxic as fuck in this country. And no disrespect. I don't want to deal with that shit. And I'm from the hood. I, it ain't no excuse, though. <laughs> it ain't like some shit just not no goddamn excuse. Like, you could be hood, but goddamn. Like, no disrespect. It's, not. it's no, no excuse for serving. Like, everybody like to have fun and turn up. But what's up with all of that toxic ass shit, y'all? Well, I'm not with all that. Like, talking to me like a. All that masculine, trying to fight, trying to break shit, tear shit up. You know what I'm saying? That shit just under. It's not a. I don't want to. I, yeah. I don't even have. I wouldn't even have a friend that did that. Let alone a, a woman. Hey y'all, I'm back. Um, I had to. I had to do a video on this part. So he's talking about he's blaming shit on black women, right? Well, I had thought about this, right? What have black women done to you? I mean, like, literally, what, what have they done to you? Like, were they the ones who got your CPAC event that you were supposed to speak at canceled and you booted out of the speaker list? Um, was did they take your YouTube page? Was they the one who said who? kept taking your YouTube page, striking your pages because they didn't want to hear shit because they didn't like you because they was like, fuck this black nigga. I'm a black bitch, so fuck him. I mean, was it black women who put a gun to your head and said, hey, don't do no lectures? You know what I'm saying? Don't continue to do that. I mean, is it, you know what I'm saying? Is it, did they, were they the ones who told you to call these different people that you threatened uh, and that's why you have these terroristic threats. Are they the ones who did that? Um, I find it very disrespectful that he can sit up here and just act like he had no part in anything when he was the main motherfucking character in it all. No one told you to react the way you... then he want to go back to this. Oh, it was a black woman who drugged me. I mean, like, even when he say that, I get so irritated because even before he was drugged, he fell off. He wasn't doing what the fuck he was doing like he did years ago. So why do he keep trying to use this? Something that's not true. And he keep trying to just ride with this shit. Right. As far as him being drugged by a black woman. Why, why do you keep holding on to that? I mean, like you even admitted that I told her to bring it this time. I didn't tell her to bring it that time. Huh? So it was okay if she brought it the other time, but you, because you wanted to know she brought it the first time. I mean, like, are you serious? Are you serious? Every time evidence come out here and proof that kind of puts you, backs you up in the corner to say, okay, well, what about this nigga? You saying you drug? Well, how about this video? Anytime you see that, you're coming up with different excuses. Oh, first it was you, she drugged you. Then later on, she came out with a video showing that she didn't drug you. Now your excuse was, oh, you know, I told her to bring it this time. I didn't tell her to bring it that time. Oh, I just said that, yeah, I had mushrooms. She had mushrooms because I didn't want her to get in trouble. How do you go from you were drugged, you don't know what you were drugged with, to you just got on live saying, hey, she has mushrooms because I don't want her to get in trouble? I mean, like, dude, you all over the motherfucking place. Listen, you, you need to blame self. Nobody has stopped you 
from succeeding in life but yourself. Yeah, and you're a man at that, and you're this general at that. So to sit here and make up these little baby-ass excuses as to why you not um, rising to the top, I mean, that just shows the weakness in your character, the, you know, that you would even allow a little bitty situation like that, if it was true, to deviate you from your purpose for something that you love to do, from your career, from, I mean, like, are you serious? No one is stopping you from succeeding in life but yourself. You could go out here and do whatever the fuck you want to do. What is the black woman? How is she? How is she the blame? What is she doing to stop you from doing that? That's what I don't understand. And is it the black woman's fault that, you know, you all here um, promoting or advertising that you're a teacher and you are ready to teach kids and you're ready to be a private tutor right and no one's calling you back no one's saying hey i need a tutor is it the black woman fault that they not calling you that they don't want you as they private tutor you know what i'm saying is it i mean like is it the black woman fault that you called a millionaire architect guy and you talked to him for a short period of time and then when you tried to call him back, he never answered the motherfucking phone. I mean, like, is that is that the black woman's fault? Huh? Is it the black woman's fault that you got on here today and said that your car was in the shop because you got mad and tore up your own motherfucking car? Like, you can't keep blaming your feelings that's within you, right? On someone else, especially a general. Yeah, especially a man. Yeah, you're supposed to uh, have a lot more control over that. That's what men are supposed to do. They are supposed to be the strongest. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, and that's why just because you just naturally weak and weak minded that you can't think of anything else to blame your unsuccess and downfall on someone else, on a black woman? Hmm? You, you always blaming. What's stopping you right now? Huh? You said two years ago on the video, and I saved the clip, that you already had a bank. You said that. Yeah. When you were talking shit to YouTube saying you don't need them. And you said it three times on the lie. I have a bank. You even said it slow. And here you are years later still talking about you want a bank. I mean, like, dude, stop blaming black women for shit that you lack. That's on you. You got to take that. Just like you take that ass whooping when you in that ring from them white boys. You need to take responsibility like that for your actions, for where you are in life. No one can stop you from doing anything. But remember, you're a general and you're a god. Yet you're out here acting weak as fuck. You're even speaking weak. Yeah. Yet people want... People are following you and holding you to this high standard. And you're getting on here blaming black women or blaming women. I mean, like, are you serious? Are you serious? That don't sound like no general or God to me. Nah, they make ways out of no way. All right. I don't care what a motherfucker do. That don't give you a right to do the things you did to put yourself in those situations. That's how adults have to think. You're thinking like a child, a teenager, a young adult who's still probably 18 years old. That's how you're thinking. 
yet you want to be treated and respected as a man? Nah, not from no grown ass women with some sense. Mm -mm. Especially not from some successful women with some sense. Do you know that people are go through worse shit than you on a daily motherfucking basis? Yeah. And they still have their million dollar businesses, deals. They still doing their thing. They not letting little bitty shit like that stop them or deter them or deviate them from something huge that's on your career or your life paths or your goals, ambitions. Yeah, no, that's little bit. See, that, see, when, when they up there like that, they, they worry about like that top, you know, level of problems that come with that. They not at no lower level shit like, oh, yeah, you know, I was drugged. And, uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, they had, why they break my statue and that's why I went to jail. And, you know, they just built a different type of motherfucking way. Yeah, no, that's not their issues. But you all this uh, high mighty person that you're saying that you are and they saying that you are. Okay, so you're supposed to have some high, mighty motherfucking issues and problems that everybody go through in life. The more we get, the more problems we have. Yeah. But no, you sitting here talking like a hood nigga. Yeah, that bitch, she broke my wooty woo. And yeah, that motherfucker said that I'd hit her and I didn't even motherfucking hit her. And you know what I'm saying? That bitch, she drugged me. Yeah. And yeah, that bitch got me so motherfucking mad because she said she was going to drop the kids off and she didn't drop the fucking kids off. So I went to go tear up my own motherfucking car. Yeah. Yeah. I thought my jewelry was lost and then I come to find out it wasn't. And so, yeah, I had to go and just get more jewelry. And I mean, like, nigga, is you serious? Motherfuckers who think of themselves at a higher standard, the way that you saying you think of your motherfucking self and the way that those people in that chat are thinking of you. Don't think like small minded like that. That shit don't even come out of their mouth. They don't even surround they self around situations like that. OK, they just do things a little bit different. You see what I'm saying? Because they know they have a lot to lose. Yeah, uh-huh. Because they put in a lot of work behind whatever they did. So they appreciate it a lot more. And they put themselves, they tell themselves they have to be real careful because they ain't trying to fuck it up. See, when you go and earn something and you work hard for it, you just get the mentality to where you protecting that with everything in you. You're not going to let a little black bitch come and fuck that up at all and then say it on national motherfucking tv yeah and if it was the case they wouldn't say that shit do you know how embarrassing this shit sound you sound pathetic nigga that's not no excuse ain't nobody finna give your ass no motherfucking tissue nigga you better cry a river wake your ass up put your man pants on and go handle that shit nobody you not no motherfucking victim you a general remember General got problems. General got big shit they got to worry about. Yeah. Bigger fish to fry. Yeah. Nigga. And you sitting on here want somebody to feel sorry for your stupid ass. And you want somebody to respect you. Yet everything that come out of your motherfucking mouth is you blaming someone else for it. Nigga, you are where you are because of you and what you did and your intentions. That's the reason why. Not because of nobody else. Nigga, had you worked hard and genuinely did what you did and did it for the right reason and continued to do it and was serious about it and protected it with everything in you because that's your motherfucking brand and that's your livelihood and that's what you make your money on, then nothing should be able to come in between that at all. You shouldn't allow nothing to be able... That's signs of weakness. But you a general? But you a general though. Yeah, I'm going to sound like you. But you a general though. Huh? Really? Huh? And you think that somebody is supposed to respect you? See, that's your problem. You don't want black women to tell you what the fuck you know is true. It hurt. Yeah, that shit cut deep. Nah, you need that. That's how you become successful. You take that shit like a man. Yeah, uh-huh. 
and you go and you do something and you go and you turn that whatever the fuck you feeling about what they said, you turn that into making moves, nigga. Okay, yeah, you turn that in, you, you, all the things, how you feeling with that they saying about you or what, you turn that into making different moves. Yeah, I'm about to make this move right here. I got this business thing I got to do right here. You turn, no, nah, you just sitting on here crying and whining and blaming, but you a general nigga, but you a man, you ain't no motherfucking man, nigga. You a little boy. Yeah. You a little boy who came up on some motherfucking money, who went to go out here and buy this, buy that, buy this, all this materialistic shit. And now that you ain't got shit no more, your motherfucking ass is sitting here looking stupid than a motherfucker. And the only thing that you can come up with as to why you not where you are, is this because it's the black woman's fault? Nigga, please. That's your motherfucking fault, nigga.